Meet John, a young chap from Phoenix, Arizona. John has a sweet girlfriend, Debbie. It's been a year since they're dating, so John wants to take Debbie to a romantic date. John knows that Debbie loves Italian food, so he wants to take her out to a good Italian restaurant. Just like most of us, John is a Yelper, so he decides to use Yelp to search for the Italian restaurants in the area. John opens the Yelp website and looks for Italian restaurants in Phoenix. He clicks on the first restaurant with a 3.5 star rating. But like most of us, John is lazy. Instead of reading the long reviews, John looks at the rating details and the trends of the ratings over time. Finally, he also takes a look at the price range, checks if it is good for dinner, and if they have parking, etc., which are important attributes nicely displayed by Yelp at the top of the page. John is satisfied and decides to take Debbie to the restaurant, hoping it would be a nice surprise for her. However, while the restaurant had pretty good food at great prices, John and Debbie were not happy with their service and ambience. John didn't know about this as he hadn't read the reviews while choosing the restaurant. Even if one does read the reviews, it is very difficult to make this inference by going through just a couple of them. John's day was not a success. Let's look at a different version of the story where John uses a new version of Yelp. Just like before, John searches for Italian food in the area and finds a restaurant with good star ratings. While browsing, he notices a new tab called Rating Distribution on top of the page. This window contains a chart showing the distribution of restaurant ratings across various categories. This chart makes him very happy as he can easily tell that the food is better than the service and the ambience available at this location. He decides to look for another restaurant. John opens the next best restaurant. He looks at the rating distribution chart on the top of the page and finds that this establishment has good ratings for food, service and ambience, but not that great ratings for deals and discounts. Since he doesn't care about that today, he decides to go with this restaurant. While going back to the home page, John notices that there is a way to display or sort these restaurants on the basis of their ranking in these five different categories. It's more like a preference filter, where you can choose how you want to see these restaurants ordered. John thinks it's a pretty useful feature. All in all, John's experience was wonderful, as the food service and ambience was amazing. John's date was a success.